Uh, Carol, what are you thinking? Good afternoon oh, to you. You've been there, seen it, done it, and got the T-shirt, right? Absolutely, Ian. Yes, I have. And listening in on Ian, just, you know, um, it, it all rings bells to me. I mean, I, I was diagnosed with ocular me melanoma. I went five years cancer-free after having my eye removed. And then in February last year, I had a liver resection where they, because uh, the spots have gone into my liver, uh, they took away 14% of my liver, and then three months later it was back because it was travelling in my blood at that time. Yeah. So um, the life-saving treatment I needed was on the NHS as a trial, the Delcast Melphalan, and I was told by my doctor I was a prime candidate, but unfortunately it was taken off with COVID. So I had no choice. It was either live or die. I've got twin grandsons, and they, and they were only two. Oh, bless And them. basically I had to raise £40,000 per treatment. Um, this I've sounds very much them. like our... It sounds almost identical to Wendy, our first caller, in terms yeah. of what, who yeah. had to do the same thing, because I think she... Uh, her. her issues began with an eye problem and made their yeah, way to the right. made their way to the liver as yeah, well yeah i think wendy's in the same well wendy is in the same hot hospital as me oh there you go but so I've, but i've had to pay forty thousand pound per treatment i'm a hundred and twenty thousand pound down since june of last year wow. and basically my grandchildren are three years of age i want to see them start school of course you do and the only way i'm going to do it is to carry on I'm, it's working fantastically for me but it makes me wonder if I hadn't have got started to go fund me, my, my husband, Gary Player, and Adam Player, my son, started to go fund me in order to try and help me raise this money. And I've managed to do that. I've cashed in all my pensions at the age of 57 yeah. to, to actually give myself a chance to live. I've got, you know, I'm fit and healthy in myself. I know I've got a good chance, but, you know, in order to do that, I've still got another treatment ahead of me. And yep. I'm, I'm now, no, I've got nothing left from the GoFundMe because I've used that money now for my treatment. So I'm carrying on the fundraising in order to save my own life. And Which is, I mean, if somebody had told you, you know, five years ago, this is w what you'd be doing, you, you'd have laughed oh, at them. It would have seemed would ridiculous have that you would not only be needing the treatment but you'd have been setting up a website to raise absolutely, money absolutely. to save and your life and we, you we... know ian i've worked uh, sorry um yeah I, I i've worked all my life i've had two and three jobs i've paid into the nhs all my life and i've never asked anybody for anything and i am absolutely ashamed yeah. of what i've had to do and, you know, it's not just me out there. There's other cancer sufferers that must be going through hell the same way as, as, as me and my family are. And, you know, I need to carry on. I don't be ashamed, Carol. Don't, don't be ashamed of what you're doing. I know that this was trial treatment, and that's the peculiarity of it, isn't it? That's why it's not yeah. conventional. Um, every, you know, there's only certain well, places that will do this. You can't just turn up anywhere. Yeah, the drug itself is actually licensed. It's just the administration of it because it goes in through the groin and it doesn't affect any other organs. So your hair, you don't lose your hair yep. or anything like that. Because it goes straight into the groin, it's targeted treatment to the liver. And basically, um, they're saying that that part was on trial, you yeah. know, and, uh, you know, but I don't know where I would be if we hadn't have started that GoFundMe, you know, with my son Adam, yeah. Adam Player. I, I don't know where I would Well, it's interesting because Wendy said that there was another guy she knew of that had the same issues and he didn't have any money and couldn't raise it and he didn't and he make passed. it. He that's did. Exactly right, yes. Well, listen, right. if anybody um, listening to us now, Carol, and thank you very much for your call, uh, but, you. but it would be GoFundMe, Carol Player would find the, the, the website, I would guess, yeah? Yes, Carol Player or Gary Player, my husband. Fantastic, Carol. But, um, listen, lots of luck with it. it. It's not. It's not easy, even when it's going well. Clearly, by definition of what you're having done. So the idea that you have the distraction of wondering whether there's enough money to treat your cancer, life-saving cancer potentially. I mean, it doesn't get any more serious than that. And as Carol said, who'd have thought you'd be, you know, in her words, she's cap in hand. I don't see it like that because I would be doing the same thing. And I think anyone else would be for a loved one as well. And maybe there's a sort of a curious um, thankfulness in the benevolence of, of individuals that, you know, pe people do pitch up when times are challenging. Carol Player or Gary Player, I think she said. Uh, go fund me uh, and that's her story and she still needs more money for the the final parts of her treatment and this stuff costs hundreds of thousands of pounds it ain't cheap 
Uh, we'll take more of your calls on this. It's distressing, isn't it, when you look at this and think, well, wow, all of this, we wouldn't be doing this phone-in. We wouldn't have a switchboard sizzling away with different callers if it wasn't for the fact that we'd had a lockdown. And isn't that tragic? 0344 499 1000. This is responding, of course, to the story of 5 million people on the NHS waiting list, the longest waiting list for a decade and a half. And this, of course, is down to the pandemic. Prime Minister says there's money there. We're going to put money in, try and stop try and stop that list growing. A, a lot of the smart money you've heard from some of our guests has said this is going to go on forever. By the next election, this won't be solved. 